for some herbs that if someone has there can have mercy, pity upon me. For me to go back into school, to continue my education into university, so that I can help anybody around me when I graduate. Education is the bedrock of any progressive and forward-looking society all over the world, and its role in transforming the society and promoting sustainable human development cannot be overemphasized. Before the intervention of the CKH project in Adamawa State by the African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development, the Center LSD, global statistics reveal that 263 million children of school-going age are out of school. Of this number, 63 million children are of primary school age, 61 million are of lower secondary school age and 139 million of upper secondary school age. This figure represents 24%, 23% and 53% respectively. Out of the 263 million children, Nigerian has 13.2 million out of school children, the world's largest number. 60% of those children in northern Nigeria. According to UNICEF, girls account for over 60% of out of school children in Nigeria. Majority of this number are from the northern region. Also, Adama State being one of the largest states in the northern region of Nigeria, which was created on the 27th day of August 1991, findings reveal that 1,736,546 represents the total population of those who are of school age. Out of this population, 849,912 are the total number of pupils enrolled in school both in primary and secondary school, while 886,000 634 are the total number of out-of-school children. Going further, we see that in Adamawa State, 843,024 children represents the total population of females aged between 5 and 19. Out of this number, 383,380 represents the total number of females enrolled in both primary and secondary school. And the remaining 459,644 children are the total number of out-of-school girls. This represents a breakdown of 45.5% and 54.5% of the 843,024 children who forms the population of females between the age of 5 and 19 in Adamawa State. It was on this note that the African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development with funding from Malala Funds found it necessary to initiate and embark on the CKH project in Adamawa State but with key emphasis on Numan, Meha, and some local government areas as beneficiaries of the project in order to cushion this downward trend affecting the education of the girl child. Um, the community-led action for girl child education is one of our key projects that we've implemented over a period of three years with support from Malala Fund in Adamawa State. The community-led collective action for girl child education seekage project was conceptualized to address um, root barriers that hinders girls from going to school because there are certain barriers that hinders girls from going to school especially in the northeastern part of Nigeria and um, upon our research at the inception there are lots of um, issues that we identify as challenges that inhibit girls from attending school and um, retaining and completion of their education, which among them were early marriage, early, um, early pregnancy or unwanted pregnancy. You know the history of this problem has started from the factors that we found ourselves here in the north. The religion factors are there, where, where they, they see a girl child going to school as a taboo. Uh, girl child are the most vulnerable in the society now. Many parents cannot be able to pay for their, their, their child or what. It's true that all over the world, the number of out-of-school out children is higher in Nigeria than in any other place. And it's very shameful. Consider the population of China, the population of Russia, even India. Upon all this, and still we say that Nigeria Mighty Nigeria. It's very embarrassing. Nigeria has faced a lot of challenges, especially the Northeast. We had Boko Haram. We have been having our villages being ravished. Now we have modern issues like kidnapping, 
cattle rustlers and so on and so forth. This disturbs education. And whenever there is disturbance, you find that the female is at the receiving. So the burden was too much. That's why the greater number of adult school children and guests in particular. Because some of the children are out of school because they are hawking for the family. We have a set of 25 six species in these communities, made up of over 1,072 girls. In the safe spaces, these girls are trained on vocational skills. They are trained on um, sex education. They are trained on um, basic numeracy and the importance of girl-child education. We establish safe spaces. And these safe spaces, you know, help the girls to learn vocational skills. And across, across all the three, across the three local governments, the girls were able to pick up different vocational skills like baking, like soap making and all that. And from the testimonials we've heard so far, some of them have used these skills to um, train themselves to back to school, to get themselves back to school and train to completion. For instance, in um, Newman, we have a girl there, several girls actually, but there are, there's a particular girl, Yola. She dropped out of school, was in her SS1. She got pregnant, she dropped out of school. So when she gave birth, the parents said they can't send her to school, that they don't have money to send her to school. She was out of school, but because of um, the CKH project, she heard about the CKH project from her friends. She decided to join the safe space. My name is Jaya Leoila. I'm from Imbru, Numan local government, Adama State. I'm one of the members of the Malala safe space here in Imbru. And we learn so many in the safe space. We that we are, we are out of school and we can't go to Bingi Malala. With the help of Malala, we have enrolled back to school. And in the safe space, they taught us some skills which we can learn and help ourselves. Among the things, I learn how to bake. I can bake my birthday cakes, cupcakes, liquid soap, and popcorn. I, I jot down everything that they taught us that day. When I went back, I went into practice. I went and buy the items. I borrowed money to go and buy, the, buy it. When I sell it and finish, I now return the, the money. So the money that I gain, I now continue using it. Up to the day that. Even yesterday, I baked. There is one birthday that they take place yesterday. I baked the cake myself. So with the skills, I used to bake. And I used to help myself. I will use it to pay my school fees, to buy soaps. I can even help my parents with it, and also with my son. When I dropped out, I mean to I face a relationship with my boyfriend. And that's when I got pregnant and gave birth. And my son is about two years, five months now. And with the baby, I used to leave the baby at home and go to school. And also that's the help of Malala. I do not even have hope of going back to school. And my parents, they are very poor. Nobody to help. But I'm trying my best to go back. So one fateful day, a friend invited me that they have brought this program, it's called Malala. I was busy laughing at that, what is Malala? And I said, yes, Malala is a poor girl that dropped out of school. And I said, really? She said, yes. I said, okay, I'll go and see what they are doing there. The first day that I came there, we are about to make Vaseline. I said, wow, um, I'm trying to learn this, but 
I do not have the chance to learn, but today I have the chance to learn. I put my effort since from then. I do not even used to miss a day. I'm hoping that with this, any girl that thinks that she do not have going back to school, if she comes to Malala, she will know that she have hope of going back to school because Malala helps a lot. This crying that I'm crying is tears of joy. Tears of joy that I learned so many, which my parents, my relatives couldn't give me. But with the help of Malala, I get everything. Which I can even help my son with. So in song, we have a girl that dropped out of school in her SS1. They gave birth to her out of wedlock. The parents, that's a father, refused to accept her and train her in school. So she dropped out. But right now, because of the safe space, she joined the safe space and she learned how to make more money. So now she does more money and sell it and she has got money to go back to school. Right now she's in SS3 and she's writing her work and she's willing to further her education to the higher institution. My name is Silva Egele from Government J Senior Secondary School, Moroke. From Safe Space, Moroke. My story began when my mom, my dad impregnated my mom and he said that she won't marry her because he wanted her to abort the pregnancy. So she said that she's not going to abort the pregnancy because she don't know, baby, this is the only child that God has given her, so she's not going to abort it. So he says that if she's not going to abort it, then he's not going to marry her, and the child is not going to be his. So she gave birth to me and then decided to sow him to God. So after she sow him to God, they did, they did the case. So he said that if this is the case, he will take me away from her, and I'm never going to come back. Then he took me when I was three years old take me this and I grew up there for nine years. I stayed with her, there with her for nine years. So I was schooling and at that time she was working. After she went and graduated, she went and retired. So she said she doesn't have any money now. So I left school for two years when I was in SS2. I left the school. So after I came back to my mom, she huddled and then she brought me back to school. That was a secondary school. That was secondary school. Muna na muna school fees muna kome. Ama gaskiya se akazo ana tete se se samu wata temo ko. The one that I get chedi ita malala. So, and there was one of my aunts, Aunt Sekina. So she told me about the safe space. This is what they let, they teach people how to read and write and some handworks to help yourself. So, I now decide to join the safe space and learn how to read and write and learn some handworks that I'm helping myself with. So I learned how to do mui mui. I used to do it. I used to sell it and gain some money and pay my school fees and help my mom and my junior brother that I have with her. The kanna ate mako malala gaskia. Ta ci modan malala domin an ba su ta kalma kyauta ta kardu yo kuma gashi nan duk wani abu program Yasa mata zama very intelligent shine gaskiya magana don an iya dokan ta ta tafi sket queen ta je ta saya cikin jama'a ta yi magana so gaskiya na mun ci moriyan yaran sabi ta dage fin taimakon ku yeah i really enjoy it because back then actually i don't even know how to read and write proper but after i get there i know how to read and write and i have now i have handwork that i'm doing i'm and my mom and my junior one really i enjoy yeah, I joined from SS3, I write my jersey, I'm on SS3 now, I'm writing my work and new book. Yeah, and actually got so kind, I wrote my jam and I still pass it, so I'm very happy about it. I want to study law, so 
and I want to study it because I want to have my own right and tell my dad what he was thinking about me was wrong. It was totally wrong. Girls, there's also a girl in uh, Meha, Margaret. My name is Margaret Benson. I am from Pakamaya local government. My father died since I am three years old. As from then, life become difficult for us as a family. My mother, my brother, and I myself, the uncles of my father, gather everything that belongs to us. Even to go to school is a problem. <laughs> From nursery to primary to primary, I am in SS2, no way to pay my school fees. Tashiga primary in Sukagama primary. Secondary school, look at the one and the aya. One and in the sound. The Tashiga quite short as a tap out of my carinta. A Maya name, Kui, Yazia Pina. In Ima, one China in Mata. A Bubu and say Yazia. The time the Macarinta Yad and say Mata. I become a dropout in school. A plan come out from the family. Let me get married. In that condition, God, God hear my prayer, God hear my prayer and bring Malala for me. I enrolled through my auntie who encouraged me about education of women is very important in the society. Now I get encouraged. When I come back, I tell I tell them that I will not marry I will not get married. From then Malala from then Malala Font helped me and I complete my senior secondary school and now I am in Saada College of Health Technology. The time I come program na Malala in Dega Shina Harri Yata in Tasamu Tasaki Koma Makaranta. At Tagama secondary school not and you come to the house, you can go to the house. 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 I experience how to make, um, how to make a Ghana points. We have donut, I, I donut, meat pie, morning fresh, shampoo and I experienced how to dress up. So many things have changed in my life, especially in my school. I see so many things change in my school. See, that time I can't read and understand, but now I can read and understand. The project also recorded more success stories from Newman, Song, and Meha local government, respectively. Now, we talk about interest. Now, for a JS1, see, now, so now, for a Zoom, Macaranta, Dombana, Sam, put in Macaranta. See, now, so now, for a Zoom, go on. So, then, now, for another, for a Sam, put in. She need a friend, now, that it has a name, the Macaran. She need a down as a kid, now, for a JS2. Arians na isa is a steady even gamma. There is no money and there is nobody to help me. That's why I drop out. And my mother didn't have the strength to take me back to school. When I heard Malala was here to help female children, I decided to join. My father had three wives. My mother is the second wife. He divorced my mother and he sent us away. 
pour it with our mother. We are four in numbers. I am a senior one. Before I left my father's house, I was in JSS too. This is how I drop out from school, so that I stay at home helping her selling granola, so that she so that she sponsor my youngest one. Da na tapa yim makaranta ina aji na biunaru bitamu da zangama amma bayiba na itiki ang aureni mutun inya aureni yanzaka ba ma tare da shi ya gudu ya barni na yi ciki na haifa a 218 lokacin ina da shekara 18 na haifi yaro yayi shekara 1 da wata hudu sai ya rasu ya barni lokacin ma ba mai gida na ana i have finished my junior secondary school because no money to further my education so i have been stay at home I learned so many things in this space because at the back I left the school and I doesn't know how to read and write and I doesn't know how what handwork I will do on but now I can read and write and I am doing local spaghetti and helping myself. The way I come I found it is our class that had come out first now. Then she said that they should say that she had ten people. And bring it. Then she writes my name. From there, then I start coming to sessions. And the information went by the Wakili through the administration of the camp primary school that Nagala needs female children or drop out of camp. I'm enrolled into the self space meeting by my friend named Agnes. They used to go for self space meeting at Holy Primary School. So she come and informed me that. There is a program called Malala Phone. So she encouraged me to be going there because she told me that in the Malala program, they are learning many things that we are not being taught at school or at home. One day with my friend, they were talking about Malala. They used to, get, they used to go self space meeting in GGS Espaka. After that, I asked one of my friends named Aisha how we will be connected to self space meeting. She she asked their teacher and she said, let me be calling. Friend, now I need to ask you to ask me. I am going to to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. I am going to ask you to ask me. Ta koya mun yadda zan yi taliya in sayar a bakin hanya ya yadda zan samu tun gaban rayuwa na an koya mana yin cake an koya mana yin vaseline an koya an koya mana yin liquid soap da abun wuya ana abun wuya na sayarwa na samu kudi na ma wasu cake na samu kudi there is plenty of things that change in my life and only because of Malala. Malala has come here and helped us how to make cake, and how to make donut, how to tie hair, and collabash decoration. So now I'm doing donut and kunazaki and so I'm selling it at the front of my our house. I'm selling, if I finish selling, I'm helping my younger sister to give her money for bread. And I help my grandma, all the grandma that brought me. I'm helping her too. The product that benefits me a lot. I learned how to make traditional necklace, which you see it on my neck. I learned how to make liquid soap and also the names of the chemicals, such as caustic soda, soda ash, SLS, color, perfume, or boosting. I learned all these items from Malala. If not for Malala, I could have not been to school. And that's why I will say thank you to Malala. I really changed because I came back to my school and I write my final examination. And I learned how to do local spaghetti. It's the reason why I can do it and sell it and pay my school fees and help myself in any problems that I'm getting in my life. How 
I can do Roman spaghetti. You can buy a flour and palm oil or manja. <laughs> you can you can do it. All is the same. Or palm oil or manja. All is the same. So I will show you how I can do my own local spaghetti. How can I take a better shape? Yanzu na se ama kai na uniform na se i abum makaranta na na ta kama ya ta sa ni amakaranta ta kai ni gaban principal te che gashi gashi so te te maka daga na principal ba te kiba ta kar eli yanzu ina amakaranta ina aji na biu yanza kana iya rubuta suna na ina rubuta suna na ina karatu kadan kadan ama ba na jin turanci. Na san nan gaba zan iya yin turancin Allah ya yadda ina son taimakon anti sakina sosai ya yadda ta so cin gaban rayuwa na yanzu in na gama makaranta ina son zama loya inda karfin hali shi yasa na sa kai na a makaranta yanzu banda yaro banda miji ina son yi makaranta ne a rayuwa na yanzu we have learned many things like lucky soap making cake, making peanuts and donuts with a few things that I have learned, even today my family members, even without their help, I was able to buy small, small things to solve my problem. Even the family members are able to help my junior ones because I have learned how to soak clothes. And I know, I know how to make lucky soap, making cake. I know if I soak clothes, the lucky soap that I have learned, I will, the Vaseline, I will able to do it. If I make it, I will able to make money from it to sponsor for my education, even for my junior ones. To look at the muka, she got face face in. Look at the akafara. Anko armana, anko yamana. Dono so shampoo, so morning fresh the Vaseline. Look at the jidai. Tabo da zanje ingi aiki. Insayar inai se na insayar. In time, I call my mother, the southern Carolina. Because my house is far away from school, so that I take it late. But the coming of Malala program helped me in my life, but helped me with school materials like sandals, books, pen, and also sponsor for my education. Malala helped me in my life a lot, but make me to be a human being. I have been in my local government. For many years, I have not. I have learned nothing. But the coming of Malala program, I learned many things. I know without the coming of Malala, I could not have this. My prayer to Malala, my Allah, grant her, guide her, give her a long life, protect her. Because Malala is all the problem in my life. I stay one year and some months before going back to school. I me see. Da ta bar makanta amada zuwa malala tana taimakawa da program nata sai mun ga akwai sauki idan za ta iya ta jona muka sa ta ta jona kuma tana kan zuwa yanzu kuma ta samu karatu sosai ana ilmantar da ita yanda ya dace kuma yanzu we are twelve in number to our father and he cannot take all our responsibilities of schools that's why i just left the school and because of the self space through my facilitator, Aunt Sekina, she advised me because she's, she's seen my situation and how my life is going. She just advised me to come to the self-space and then I enjoy the self-space. Through the self-space, I know how to read and write. And through the self-space, I have a little hanok that I'm doing, local ice block. I'm buying my cow milk, sugar, flavor, and I add my water, mix it together, tie it, put it inside the fridge. I'm selling it. I'm gaining 900 to 1,000 in a day, and I'm gaining 5,000 to 6,000 in a week. So with this money, I used to pay my school fees and pay my simple, simple problems, helping my mommy with buying my soap at home. And with this money, I'm helping my life very well. A local thing is that I'm going to buy a to yayin babu karfi amma yanzu zuwa program na malala nan gaskiya yanzu mun ga improvement sosai 
muna gachi gaba gareta yes that been takes me because with this local hand work that i'm doing i'm using the money to pay my school fees and some little little problems like buying stuff for myself washing my clothes buying clothes for myself So we engage some of all these stakeholders and we train them on the importance of girl child education. We also um, train them on advocacy, leadership skills, on how they can engage their community members. Because yes, in the northeastern part of the country, there are some cultural norms that are there that some of these people they don't want to send their girls to school. So we train them on advocacy and the need to send their girls to school. The center LSG, they have introduced uh, what is the meaning of leadership? After the leadership, how to control this leadership? What is the importance of that leadership? All these things, this center introduced to us and they train us well. Myself, I'm a scandal school drop. I never go to any institution. But with these books of the Maladas, in the center of leadership. I know what is leadership now. If somebody asks me what is leadership, I know what is leadership. I know how to lead from my word up to the high level. So when this program came, I was looking all around to see where these children are not getting enough education because education is the bedrock of anything. So when I looked around, I saw it. And when I saw the girls, I made announcements. It was announced all over the town. And anybody that uh, his child is out of school, I want to see. Them. So they came. That's how I got the register. I kept the register out here. And they were registered. Uh, some would bring their names on a piece of paper, compile them, and keep them. And then when I sought for any school that they need, there is an opening. I'll call them and send them there. In fact, I talked to all the principals that there is the need to make room, especially for this purpose. I met the community leader, that's the village head. I told him to make an announcement. Let him call his town crier. They should announce to the community that any student, especially females, that were dropped out of school. They should come. I enroll them freely without paying any fine. So when they come, we're going to enroll them and the information has been passed to them. The town crier made an announcement and that's how I got them through one for the one of the class rep here. During the course of the program, I was able to move around and get about uh, 200 girls from villages and around town. And we send them to one of the schools here where ladies or girls were the majority in the school. I have enrolled almost about 240, 40 something girls, if I'm not mistaken, since I started facilitating. I have facilitated in three centers. The first one was in Zangun. The second one was in was Imbro. That's this present safe space we are now. And the third one is in Numan. That's Pare Girls, where they had only 17 girls. But because of the effort Malala brought to the community, we're able to reach out. And presently in Pare Girls, we have 127 girls now from 17 to 127. First of all, I will, thank, I will thank Malala for this great program because it has helped us in this community and this school also. Because, because of this uh, safe space, many of our out-of-school girls have turned back. They have trained and some of them don't know how to read before, but because of the safe, uh, safe space, they can now read and write. And the safe space also taught them how to do some little, little handwork to help themselves. Some of them learn how to do uh, this uh, 
loopy soup, morning fresh. Some learn how to do local uh, spaghetti, we call it alie. Some learn how to do moi moi by using beans. Some local uh, ice block by using the uh, flani nono, that's milk, pig milk, the liquid one. Some went into tailoring. So we appreciate this Malala Fund, that's Center LSD, for coming into this community and giving us some awareness. And we took it and used it. Now we are benefiting it. We are benefiting from it, our students, and those that have already graduated are using it and helping themselves. We were able to convince the parents, the educational committee, we organized town hall meetings, community mobilization, and then we have uh, talk pass, uh, talks with the parents, that is one-on-one, -on -one, to see the need to send girls back to school. We also embarked on what we call advocacy visit some of our prominent stakeholders in our community. We went to them and then we advocate for the support to enable the children go back to school, which we succeeded. We went there in our community, more especially in our local government chairman, we went to him. We visited him on several occasions. He gave us his own words. He gave us assistance. More especially when he, uh, the time uh, the Malala came to, uh, to, to give scholastic material, the chairman himself printed bags with his picture on it and the picture of His Excellency to support this project, of which girls were happy about that. Anytime they see the bath, it gives them in some encouragement. Actually, uh, we were lucky because the center trained us on what exactly they wanted. I played a lot of role. Why? Because I benefited. I was one of the privileged women, one, an old girl child who was privileged and now a grandmother, I knew what education is. So I made sure I played a role to save the children out of school, since the program is to uplift a girl child education. So I've played my own role. We have done a lot of awareness. We have gone to our localities. We make sure the girls are out for this program. We have played many roles because if we went like this, we just we, since I'm the Division Inspector of Education, I call the Education Secretary that this is what we want to do. And we, with the committee, we call the initiating principal. Tell, we tell him that this is our aim. We even call the directors. We gather all the directors that this is the aim of this center, SLD. Those ladies that they were dropped out, now we are going to sensitize them. So if they come back, please, principal, headmaster, Please accept these ladies, observe them in your schools so that they can continue with where they have, they, they have left their own education system. And we even went to the district heads. We tell them that it's not that uh, these women, their education, that one is not a belief that the education of a woman and, and in Kitty. It's not like that. We give them example with some women. Now today there are some big, big men in Nigeria, some outside Nigeria. We even told them these are the things, and they are happy with us. So that is why even now they agree with us. So that is why they are bringing their ladies that they are drunk. Some they have already married, but still we talk to their husband that please, if you can allow them, please let them come back to the school. And we get these numbers, especially, let me give you an example with local here. And even Dumne, there are most of the ladies that they already get married, but we talk to the husband. Even the husband, they are phoning us saying, that, ah, thank you, sir, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. So these are the things that we have did. Yeah, I, I played a dual role. One, as an executive chairman, that is, a, I mean, government. The other one, as an educationist myself, being an educationist, I know, I know I have to give my own contribution, and I know how important the program is. That's why I... I make serious effort, we synergize, make concerted effort in seeing that this program has become a success, not only in some local government, in other part of Adam and Nigeria at large. When we go for the seminar, they ask, how are we, this our drop guests, how this girl did go back to school? 
what we did, first of all, we call all our uh, village leaders. After calling them, we call our ward leaders, that is uh, our Jaurakai and Jimmy Loli. We call them, we say, this program, it is calling for us, our girls, to go back to school. So, how are we make these girls to go back to school? Everybody to know. First of all, our district head, Al Haji Ahmadu Salibi, he called our own attention uh, to make a, 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 a town crowd to call the parents. Any girl who is dropped out or any girl who wants to go back to school, let him go to the after they go there, they write their school. And some of them, they return to the school. After when we came back, we that were invited to Yola, we came back and sat down. Uh, after we sat down, they nominate me or elect me as the, to oversee this program in my local government. So we draw some agendas. One, to call all stakeholders of Maya. We invited them. We like this program at the local government level. We invited all these three heads, all SB, SBMC chairmen, all trade unions. Uh, and the rest of the all stakeholders. So we make the flag off at the local government level. Uh, my role uh, is to give them cooperation and to also engage my critical stakeholders in Numa, to show them the importance of uh, the Malala Foundation in Numa local government. And they also contributed, they gave them all their uh, necessary support and we gave them a helping hand to ensure that the, the program become a success in Numa. Uh, you know, we, there are many bills we pass uh, in respect of girl child, but I know uh, in my constituency, I think uh, by the last figure I see, I think it's almost 200 or something students are back to school. You know, with the population of Numa, if 200 girls child will go back to school, I think it's, it's very significant. Mm. So, uh, Malala Foundation really tried to, uh, and I commend them for that. We passed through some series of workshops and training by the Malala Foundation Center, LSD, and from there we drop, uh, we drive the knowledge on how to handle girls and to bring them back to school. So since then, we've been appointed or nominated to serve as education committee to this noble project, which we have since 2019. We've been into this business and we've been mobilizing children to go by, more especially girls, to go back to school. Um, we look at how do we tackle the issue of poverty to ensure that girls go back to school. And with that, we're able to um, come up with the with the um, establishment of safe space, and um, we were able to establish safe space. This safe space, we were um, we had facilitators that um, were were always there to train the, to train the girls on um, vocational skills. These vocational vocational skills that were acquired by the girls had, had helped some of them to complete their education. I became a facilitator when I got a call from the local government of what Malala is all about. I was called, interviewed and talked to and I accepted the challenge. I was willing to work. Because let me put it like this, I was, somehow I was a victim of circumstance like them. Before I have been posted there, and uh, the girls there are not going to school. Because in that village, if I could remind, I'm the first, oh, I could say I was the first girl 
to complete her secondary school education. So with the coming of Malala and the STEAM Safe Space program, I have played many roles because so many girls have gone back to school there. And they have trained many things, self-making, some have this thing, pop pop making, they are earning so many money with it. And many of them have enrolled back to school. I play so many parts. First, I used to taught my, my students so many things. For example, we have taught about the, how to make liquid soap, how to make donuts, how to make cheesecake, and so many things and they are improving because I used to follow them even into their houses and see how they perform the things because I teach them, I show them practically and they used to go home and practice it, they are doing it, selling it in so many places and they are gaining so many amount of money. By time goes on, I need more students. The way I look for the way out, how, how can I get more students to be enrolled into it. So I write letters to the churches, mobs. So on the next meeting, seriously, I'm happy because I get so many uh, students on that day. As a result of the impact of the Sea Cage project, the lives of these girls and their stories will no longer remain the same as they've moved on with exceptional skills and lifestyle. When I'm at home, I cannot read. We just, we are just going around, farming, doing sort of things. But when I came here, I know how to read, write, and make liquid soap and a necklace. I tell Malala that I am thankful because Malala helped me. If not because of Malala, now I don't know how I might be. But because of Malala, now I'm engaging my life and now I'm doing handwork. I'm helping my old grandma. I want to tell the rest girl that they should know how to help themselves. And if there is way that they can enjoy this Malala, they can enjoy it like the way me. Now I and now I'm feeling free my life. I am very, very happy with this project because it has really brought success to this community. Why I say success? Because most of these girls that are in the safe space now, they are not idle. Most of them have something to do. And at least to some extent, in as much as they find it difficult, but I guess most of them can communicate easily now, at least. They are not shy. To some extent, like to me, it's a challenge. When I came in newly, I don't know how to speak my dialect. But thanks to Malala now, I learned from them. They learned from me. At least some of them can speak English, not well, fluently. They can speak Hausa, mix it the way they can to a level you understand. And I thank God, me too, with based on the communication, to some extent, I can speak the dialect now. So we communicate easily. The changes is, since I cannot write even my name and I cannot read, but now I can write my name and I can read and I can write. And through the self space, I have something to do to help myself. I have got many change in my life because before, when I'm at home, I have not been in school. I can see some of my neighbors, my friends, they used to speak English, they know how to read, they can write but I don't know how to write. I'm even trying to believe in people. If I see many people gather, I don't want to be there. Because I don't know how to speak English, I cannot write. So I'm shy, that's why, but 
now that have Malala have come, it has changed my life. It has made me to be the most proudest person because I have been attending many programs through, the, through Malala. I have been in debate in Yola, we have come in local government, even in our area, when they have started locating self space meeting. Now I'm the leader of the first self space meeting. But all this because of Malala, of Malala. If not because of Malala today, I will not stand in front of people to even speak a word. We have achieved so many things. Because before it is these uh, women that, uh, that are living in the community that used to bring things to sell in the school for the students. But now because of this program, those that came back to school, what they are doing at the local Talia, the Mai Mai, they are the ones bringing it to school, send it, selling it to their police. And they are using part of the money to pay their school fees. So it is a great achievement to the school and to the uh, girls that came back to school. Even now, some of them in town, in the community, wants to join uh, this uh, uh, safe space to learn these things. But you people are saying that you have come to an end. So we are pleading with you people, if you can still extend so that others will join and benefit from it. We have recorded a lot of uh, outcomes. One, uh, the program or girl child education in my local government was below average. And now, it is above average, above good, above very good. Any moment is going to become excellent. Formally, you cannot find even a one girl who is who is going back, who is studying. Uh, that is our our what we are calling our European education. They don't care about it. But even now, if not because of the closed the school, if now you go to. In Sabo local primary school, eh? you can find some of the girls. Many of them, they go back to school. We see, we see in this program where our girl, our our girl child, or our young young girls are making improvement in the education system. We we see where they pass their their jam exams. This came as a result of the enlightenment the contribution and sustainable of this contribution by the Malala Foundation to the girls, to the girls child education in some local government. So a lot, we, we see now where our, our younger girls can speak, can speak fluently English, they can perform well in their subjects, and the interest before the dropout number is far. But by, with the coming of Malala Foundation, we have seen where now the girls child Trooping into enrollment into our school standards. Before then, if you went to these villages, some of the villages, even they themselves, they are telling people that there is no need for a girl child education completely. They even, they are the ones that they are discouraging these ladies for going to further their own education. But now, things have been reduced. Because even now, you will find some ladies that if they, they have now finished their work, they are now in NCEs, diplomas, and some they went to university because of this program. Our girls, when, they, when we are able to mobilize them back to school, they were not only taught how to read and write, they, were, they had an opportunity to learn some skills. There is a story of one girl that we know, before we brought her back to school, her situation was so pathetic. She lost her parents, nobody to sponsor her, Nobody to give her, you know, the hope in, in terms of education. But during this advocacy, and we discover this girl, we were able to bring her back to school. When she was giving us her testimony, she busted into tears. She said, what she has never privileged to have before, she's having it now. The privilege that she don't have, she's having it now. See, nobody can pay her school fees. How much was the school fees? It was so meager, but nobody is interested. See, by the coming of this uh, project, people gave her uh, support, and now she's now in school. So she has every reason to thank Malala. She has every reason to thank Center LSD. If not because of the Center LSD program, she wouldn't have been where she is, or she, she, she is today. And secondly, one of the notable achievements that were recorded in this project is the fact that we are able to control the, this kind of uh, unnecessary 
unnecessary uh, waywardness among girls. Some of the girls who drop them from school is because of the way they are wayward. Nobody to attend to them. They can only go and sell their body to go to school. In the process, they fall victim. Oh, what I want to say to Center LSD um, and Malala Found, I really want to thank them because what they have done in my life. Because if not for them, I wouldn't have been in this stage now. And I want them to continue this, not for us, but for our younger ones that are growing up. So really thank her, thank them, and we appreciate what they have done to our life. But if they don't mind, we would like to have them to help us for us that want to further our education, please. I want to say thank you for Malala. May God help them all. As they supply my need, may God supply their need all. Thank you, may God protect them. Thank you. It's a success, my brother. Serious one is a success. Because getting this number back to school is serious success. Ah, no. <laughs> it's a huge success. And we thank, I very much thank the initiators of this program. And, uh, I would wish they continue. It's a great success. Let's <laughs> get The goal of this project is to increase, increase the number of girls back to school in those localities that we've identified. And um, in increasing the number of girls, not just to go back to school, we were able to retain them and also ensure that they complete their education. So from, from what we have, from the results we have gathered and from testimonials from girls in those um, communities where we identify, we would say that this project is a success. It's a huge success because when you have girls you know, or their own volition coming to safe spaces, ensuring their learning skills, transforming these learning skills into earning income and sustaining themselves throughout school. You know, you would, you would say it's a, I would say we have achieved a great success in that, uh, in that regard. So um, what we need to do is to do more. You know, when you do have, a, when, you have when you're successful, you want to do more, you need to do more. Because as we implement along, there are other communities, there are other local governments that have come to approach the center, you know, to come replicate the same um, initiative in their locality. But we're constrained by fund. So um, what, we, what we would say is for every, for every stakeholder here today is to help us, you know, work together with us we have the idea, we have the initiative, is to work together with us to ensure that this is, you know, um, this is um, taken to other communities, that for other communities to benefit from it. As a result of the impact of this project, out of an estimated 19,469 out of school eligible girls in Meha local government area, 514 girls have returned to school. And out of an estimated 22,006 out of school eligible girls in Newman local government area, 576 girls have returned to school. And out of an estimated 63,646 out of school eligible girls in Song local government area, 360 girls have returned to school.